This is my new MG4 and I have to say I absolutely love this car. However, there are several things that I don't really like about MG4. Let's start from the first one and the most annoying one in my opinion, no rear wiper. Here in the UK we get a quite a lot of rain and I have to say this is just not a good idea. I wish there was one available. Sadly, if you want to connect your phone to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you need to use the cable. But then you can see, uh, and then be prepared to have a cable fluffing around here or there, which is not ideal. Sadly, the boot space is just okay. And also, this might be an important one for some people. Uh, you don't get a granny cable with it. So you need to be prepared if you don't have a charger at home to buy a separate granny cable. Also, I wish there was a storage here underneath to storage the cable because as you can see, there's just not space to, to put it. Even my plug-in Vauxhall has some storage underneath. Look at that, look how much space is there. Such a great idea. Sadly, this car isn't very efficient, I have to say. I have driven so many cars, uh, two Nissan Leafs, MG5, test driven, um, and BMW i3, Citroen uh, EC4, uh, Corsa E, Mazda MX-30. But in my opinion, this is a less efficient car for sure. So you can see from the last 1,420 miles, it's only 3.4. It's not great. I was averaging on MG5 around four. Uh, if you have another chance to watch the video about the MG5, then make sure you check that out. I'm shooting this video end of uh, October, so I'm hoping when the weather's gonna pick up a bit warmer, the rain should improve uh, slightly. This MG4 is the uh, SE model, which means you don't get sat nav. When I was driving MG5, I was complaining how slow the sat-nav was, but I'd rather have the slow one than don't have one at all. I was going to Birmingham uh, at the meet for the meeting a couple of weeks ago, and my battery was very, very low, and I didn't have the cable with me. Yeah, so I was really panicking because I was a 2% battery, but I managed to get to the destination. But if my battery died, I would not be able to make it without my phone so because there is no sat nav you need to be prepared that you need the latest phone because some of the people might be having older phones let's say nokia 3310 i remember one of those do you so this also model doesn't have wireless charging so if you're thinking about this i would upgrade to the uh, trophy version and don't worry about charging and the sat nav Okay, this one is something that I didn't notice myself. One of my passengers, actually two, noticed that the indicators are very, very loud. But judge that for yourself. Also, the car doesn't hold its presets. So let's say, for example, a driving mode. Okay, I tend to use Eco, but by default it goes to normal with um, high uh, recovery, uh, you know, regenerative braking, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I would love to put the Eco and go adaptive and stay like this until I actually turn it off. But sadly, it doesn't work like this. So I'm hoping this is going to be, this is something that could be improved in the future software update. And the last one, most annoying for my wife actually, no reversing camera. When we had MG5 base model, the Excite version, it was available as standard. Here you only got parking sensors, but I wish there was a reversing camera instead. So because of the uh, rear screen is quite small, you are limited and you have to be very careful when you're reversing. This car doesn't have start stop button. So when you come out of the car, you need to remember to lock it. Otherwise it will be running with uh, playing radio, etc. 
so please remember to lock it with the key or you can also lock it using the button on the side of the door but I love this car I have made a video of things I love about this car so if you have now the chance to watch that video make sure you click up here let me know your thoughts about MG4 and I'll catch you in the next one cheers <laughs>